Hello, the internet. Hello, Geek and Sundry. This is my vlog submission for the Geek and Sundry vlogs for a theoretical show called Double Crunch, wherein I attempt to make one game every other weekend based on ideas from you guys, the viewers. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for the image and audio quality, but if elected, I vow to buy a better webcam and a better microphone. This I solemnly swear. So first let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Gabriel Vega. Gabriel Vega. I am Portuguese, hence the terrible accent. This is the first time I'm doing a vlog or anything of the sort. I'm quite socially awkward, but I do love jump cuts, so it might just work out. I have a degree in computer engineering and I'm about to graduate in video game design. I love making games. I always have since I was a child, literally. It's what I've always wanted to do for a career, and it's what I hope we'll be doing with you guys from now. And recently, I joined this thing called the One Game a Month, which is a website wherein the participants attempt to make one game every month for achievements and bragging rights. I've managed to do them all so far. I have six games, I believe. Most of them come from game jams. If you don't know what a game jam is, it's basically an event where everyone involved attempts to make a game in the allotted time limit, usually a week or a weekend. There's a theme involved which you have to follow. There usually aren't any prizes or anything of the sort, it's just fun. So this show would be my attempt to level up from one game a month to two games a month. That is one game every other weekend. On each episode, I would showcase the game I made in the previous weekend, and I would ask you guys, the viewers, to write in the comments below the theme which you'd like me to follow for the following weekend. That could be anything from a game mechanic to a mood to a call, or even just bear in mind that my artwork is quite terrible. On each episode, I will then look at all the comments you guys left me on the previous one, and the most voted theme would be the one I would follow for the next jam. The date for that jam would also be announced in the episode, either the following weekend or the one afterwards. Whenever I game jam, I usually tend to live tweet, so if you follow me, either at Night Shadow Zero, that's zero, or the hypothetical hashtag Level Crunch, you could see my behind the scenes look at making a game with progress screenshots and me complaining a lot about programming and that sort of thing. If you'd like to check out my games to see what kind of thing I do, you can do so at my One Game A Month profile or at my personal webpage. I hope you guys enjoy this idea and I hope it encourages some of you to game jam with me. I know there's a lot of people who want to get into game design and have no idea how. Really, you don't need to know how to program to make a game. There's plenty of engines out there, engines like Game Maker or RPG Maker, which was my first engine, by the way. Unity, which isn't as accessible, but it's still pretty accessible. And there's things like Twine, which are engines that allow you to make nonlinear narratives, which are games. And there's plenty of tutorials out there on the internet, so really, if you want to make games, the best step is just to start making them. Find a team if you're not comfortable doing it by yourself. Play to your strengths if you're an artist, do artwork for the game. If you're a musician, do the music. Don't try to force what isn't in you. Really, the indie community is quite funny. I'm looking forward to hearing your ideas. If you have any questions, I can try to answer them in the comments as well. And I'll see you next time. So, Geek and Sandry, if, you, if my terrible vlogging didn't convince you, I hope at least you thought the idea was interesting and maybe you could follow it with actually talented people. So thanks again for hearing, and bye!